keeping our Jurassic World Fest going. <laughs> We've got the dinosaur of the day, Sinoceratops, which has appeared in trailers for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, so we don't know exactly how it fits in yet, but it'll be there. Indeed. It was a centrosaurine ceratopsian that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Shandong Province, China, in the Xingguzhuang Formation, and it was found in 2008 and named in 2010 by Xu Xing and others. The type species is Sinoceratops juchengensis, and its name means Chinese horned face from Jucheng, and Sina means China in Latin. The city of Jucheng financed the excavations, and they found three skulls in Jucheng, China. The holotype consists of a partial skull with a partial brain case. And Sinoceratops was a medium-sized quadrupedal herbivorous dinosaur. It's one of the largest known centrosaurines. It grew up to about 20 feet or 6 meters long and weighed up to 2 tons. Thomas Holtz Jr. estimated, though, that it could be up to 23 feet or 7 meters long and weigh 2.3 tons. So as I mentioned, Sinoceratops was a ceratopsian. It was actually the first ceratopsid found in China, and the only confirmed ceratopsid from Asia so far. And ceratopsids are advanced ceratopsians. And it has features seen in both centrosaurines and chasmosaurines. So it might help to show more about ceratopsian evolution and that ceratopsids evolved in Asia before going to North America, but we'll need more fossils to know for sure. Always the case. Sinoceratops had a short hooked nasal horn, but it did not have brow horns. And it had a short neck frill with forward curving hornlets that made it look like it had a crown. And this row of hornlets had low knobs on the top of the frill that's not found on any other ceratopsian. Other dinosaurs that lived at the same time and place include Shantungasaurus, a hadrosaurid, Jucheng ceratops, a ceratopsian, Huashiosaurus, another hadrosaurid, and Jucheng tyrannus, a theropod. You seeing a pattern in names? Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing about Sinoceratops in Jurassic World is that originally it was going to be a Pachyrhinosaurus, that one that's famous from Alberta, and it's got a big, they call it a nasal boss. It's kind of a big flat surface, sort of. It almost reminds me of like a calloused heel or something. It just looks <laughs> kind of gross but, Jeez. rather than a horde on its nose. So it's pretty distinctive. And originally that was what was going to be in Jurassic World. We know that because they released a toy that's called Sinoceratops, but it's clearly a Pachyrhinosaurus. So they <laughs> yeah. reworked the Pachyrhinosaurus into a Sinoceratops, but apparently couldn't redo the toy in time. So there's all these Pachyrhinosauruses running around that are actually Sinoceratops. <laughs> and now you know. Yep. 